Well, good evening, folks, and welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman here on the opening of the Tennessee muzzleloader season for deer. Earlier today, we had a weather front push through, a lot of wind and rain, just stormy activity, thunder and lightning. But I believe it's pushing on through now, so temperatures are a little bit cooler because here lately it's been just unseasonably warm. And they're calling for more warm weather until the end of next week. So I thought I'd come up here since it's opening day and take the opportunity to do a little deer hunting with my muzzleloader. I got my inline with me today, folks. I haven't used it in a few years now, so I thought I'd bring it along. I haven't seen much deer activity at all. Now I found a few rubs just right down there, about 30, 40 yards out. And there's a trail that comes through from the other side of that ridge and comes right down here, comes across in front of me here and goes back that way. So I'm just gonna keep my eyes and ears open. Maybe something will move through here. And uh, who knows if we're lucky, we might get a shot. Like I say, the pre-rut is here and they're starting to chase a little bit. I've noticed some bucks chasing does late in the evening. And a friend of mine said he saw a real nice one over by his place um, about four days ago. And then two nights ago, I saw a really, really nice buck on the side of the road. And I'm assuming he was after a doe, but uh, Anyway, it's that time of year, folks. You need to be out in the woods if you're gonna try and get one. I'm gonna sit here until dark, see if anything comes along.
Good morning, folks. This is day two of the muzzleloader season for Tennessee. And I came back up to this stand to see if I could catch up with that buck that I encountered yesterday. I took a shot at him down through there, but I missed him. And later on, I checked my gun and I was way off. Apparently, I had done some work on that gun and I did not sight it back in like I should have. That's a bad mistake. Something that I normally wouldn't do. Always check your equipment before you come out in the field. But uh, I reviewed the footage and that deer, he hung around here for a long time after I shot. Didn't even act like I scratched him. So I'm pretty satisfied I missed that deer. <laughs> but I came up here thinking that I might catch up with him again. And uh, I've seen several deer this morning. First deer came in was a doe. She came in right through here, and then she went back. And then I saw a few more moving through here. And then they turned and went back the other way. So anyway, I'm just gonna sit here, see if anything else comes along. Maybe we'll get lucky, you never know. That's a doe with a fawn. That's a different group of deer. She's still in there. That deer's right up there. Folks, I heard something walking right over here. I just got up here about 45 minutes ago. I looked down, I saw a nice buck. I hope I got all that on camera, I don't know. Camera was over on the other side of the stand, but he came right up through there. And when he got broadside, I took the shot. And he was against that hillside right there. I think I saw him go down up here. We'll give him just a few minutes, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let my gun down. I'm gonna walk over there and see if we got him. Okay, folks, I got my gun recharged. And I got the spot mark where I shot him, where I shot at him. <laughs> I'll go up there and take a look now.
one right through here. And let's see. Yeah, we just head this way. Head right through here. It's not a heavy crash up here. Can't be real clear. I think he went down. This way. There's some blood. Right there. Okay. right over here. We got floaties right there by that tree. Where I thought I heard him crash, folks. There he lay. That's what I heard him go over, is that log right there. Good buck right there. I believe this is the same deer I shot at yesterday because it was right here in these woods. And he come through from down there. And I shot at him over here, but might be a different deer, but looks like the same one. Just a good mature eight point. Well, I need to get him out of here and get him dressed and ready for the freezer. Well, folks, here's the deer that I harvested just a while ago. It's just a nice, typical, beautiful eight point. Harvested right over here on my property. And I got this deer not 20 yards from where I harvested my first video deer. And uh, that was another beautiful eight point that I got on camera when I first started my channel. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. I think you'll enjoy that hunt. I tried to get the deer more in center of the camera, but uh, the camera was off to my left and I, I just couldn't move enough to get to get it centered up. Anyway, I got what I could and uh, was able to see the deer before I shot him. And I waited until he got just about adjacent to my stand there and presented a broadside shot and I made a perfect shot. 
The gun that I was using is a Thompson Center Omega 50 caliber that I customized, put a custom stock on here, and I was shooting 250 grain Hornady SST bullets, the ones with the red tips. And that was being pushed by 110 grains of Blackhorn 209 powder and uh, Winchester 209 shotgun primer. That gun is really accurate with that load. In fact, at 50 yards, I mean, it'll put them right in there the size of a nickel. And uh, I wanted my grandson really to go out and harvest his first deer, but he didn't want to go this afternoon. This would have been a perfect opportunity for him to get this buck because I just recently bought him a muzzle loader. If you recall, if you watched some of my previous videos, I bought him a Thompson Center Thunderhawk at a gun show, 50 caliber, and that's a really good shooting gun. So he just missed out on this one. But, you know, the season's just started. This was the second day, and I was successful in harvesting this deer. So I'm planning on taking him out this coming weekend, and the weather's supposed to cool off. It's been unseasonably warm, but the deer are still moving. You know, I mean, if you want to get out and harvest a deer, you just got to be in the woods and get set up. And uh, if you haven't scouted yet, it's not too late. You can get out and do a little scouting. You should be able to find rubs and scrapes and that's what put me onto this deer. I found some fresh rubs and I got in my stand right there and I knew they would be moving through there. And I shot at a deer yesterday and I, that I missed. I don't believe it was this one. So uh, this one here has a broken brow tine. So he's been tussling with another buck out there somewhere. But anyway, he's a really nice sized deer. Real heavy, got a lot of meat on him. And that's the reason I do this, folks. We love to eat venison. There's a lot of steaks and roasts in this deer. So I got to get him field dressed and get him hung up and cut up and get him on ice. So thank you for watching. And let me also say, I thank the good Lord for giving me the opportunity to harvest this fine animal. And uh, I'm always thankful whenever I harvest any kind of game or fish or anything. I always thank the good Lord and I thank you all for watching. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more to come. And remember, if you like to go hunting, fishing, camping, shooting, hiking, whatever it may be, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And also, hit that like button, smash that bell icon, and subscribe. That way you'll know when more videos like this will be coming your way. So until next time, my friends, y'all take care and get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. I'll be seeing you. Well, just as a bonus, <laughs> I want to include a little video of my buddy here, Kevin. He just got him a nice buck this morning. I'm back at work today, and uh, I wanted to show off this deer. This is Kevin. You all remember him from turkey video, but uh, there he is. That's a nice 10 point. He's got like a palmated brow tie there. That one I shot yesterday had a broken brow time, but uh, that one there's got a little character. Got some kickers right there. Nice wide rack. Pretty deer. Muzzle loader season in Tennessee. That's what you look for right there. That deer there will go, what, 100 and field dress, probably 150, 175? Every, every bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. Putting him in the truck by himself, he's, he's, he's pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a good deer. Well, congratulations. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, good job. Good shot, too. He put it right where it needed to go on the other side, right behind the shoulder. Yeah, I'll roll him over. Yeah, right. right That's there. where you want to put it. That makes an ethical kill, you know, ethical harvest. They don't go very far when you take their running gear or breathing apparatus. Yeah, so. That's right. <laughs> yeah, he's still got some stuff there yeah, in his, where he's, he's been, been rubbing. rubbing. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. good job, Kevin. Yeah. Nice deer.